Hi everyone, this is Zach. In this video lecture, I'll be talk explaining about the ROC curve. So ROC stands for Receiver Operating Characteristic Curve. And this is a curve that we use to illustrate the diagnostic ability of a binary classifier as we vary the threshold value. When we plot the ROC curve, we, the y-axis is the true positive rate, while the x-axis is the false positive rate. The true positive rate is basically the proportion of, neg of positives that we classify correctly, whereas the false positive rate is the proportion of negatives that we classify correctly. As we change the threshold value, the true positive rate and the false positive rate changes. So for example, 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1. And let's look at three uh, examples. If the threshold is 0, the true positive rate and the false positive rate is 1. And that's because every observation is predicted to be positive. And on the opposite side, when the threshold is 1, every observation is predicted to be negative. So the false positive and the true positive rate is both zero. And as you vary the, the threshold, for example, if the threshold is 0 0.4, the true positive rate is about 70%, and the false positive rate is about 20%. So that means we correctly capture or classify 70, about 70% 70 of the actual positives, but about 20% of the negatives, we, report, we will report them as positive, even though it's not true. So there's a metric called the AUC, which means the area under the ROC curve. Sometimes is we use, some other people will use the acronym AUROC, but it's the same thing, just by a different name. So what is why this metric is important is because the sensitivity or the specificity or the overall accuracy of the classifier depends on which threshold value you choose. And if you change the threshold value, you get different values for these three metrics. On the other hand, the AUC measures how well the model performs across all possible threshold values. The AUC is defined as basically the area, this area, the shaded gray area, under the ROC curve. I'm going to introduce another metric called the C statistic. And basically it measures how well a risk score or a logistic regression model or other binary classification model predicts the event occurrence. C here stands for concordance. So it's also called a concordance statistic or sometimes called the C index. Basically, this C statistic is defined in the following way. We need to consider all possible pairs of negative and positive observations. Negative means the event didn't occur. Positive means the event did occur. If the positive observation has a higher risk score than the negative observation, then this pair is concordant. But if the negative observation has a higher risk score than the positive obs uh, observation, then the pair is disconcordant. So basically, the C statistic is defined as the number of concordant pairs divided by the total number of negative and positive pairs. The C statistic ranges from 0 0.5 to 1. If the C statistic is 0 0.5, it means that the model is basically equivalent to kind of a random guess. As a rule of thumb, a C of statistic of about 0.7 or greater means the model has reasonably good predictive power, but this is not like a hard and fast rule. It depends on... So for for problems where prediction is easy, you can expect higher C statistics. For problems where there's more randomness and it's harder to predict, the C statistic of the best model will be lower. 
And if the C statistic is 1, it means the model can perfectly predict who will and will not experience the event. Here's a simple illustration to show how to calculate the C statistic. So we're trying to predict whether a student passed based on the study hours. And we have five students. The student who studied five hours passed, the student who studied nine hours passed, but the other three students failed. So there are three negative values and two positive values. So that means there are six possible pairs, basically three times two. Five of the pairs are concordance. For example, one and five is concordant, three and five is concordant, one and nine is concordant, three and five is one and nine, three and nine are concordant, five and seven and five are not concordant, are disconc is disconcordant, but seven and nine is also concordant. So basically five out of the six possible pairs are concordant, which means the C statistic is five over six. One important mathematical result is that the AUC, the area under the ROC curve, is equal to the C statistic. And it's basically kind of magic due to the beauty of mathematics. And we don't need to know why, but it's true. So just believe me. Everything I say is true. Most of the time. Anyhow, uh, let's do a quick coding demo. All right, so you have to install this package called ROCR. So I've already installed it, but if you haven't installed it, just install it. Here's how to plot the ROC curve using the R Iris data set. So I defined a column called is versus color, and I estimate a logistic regression model to predict whether the iris is a versicolor color or not. Okay, blah blah blah. And then to plot the ROC curve, you need to first do the predictions, the predicted probabilities, and then you need to compare the, put the probabilities here and the actual outcome here. So that's the prediction function. Then the performance function is calculated using the performance function and then you can uh, draw the plots and let's do this one because it looks kind of cool uh, this one doesn't have colors maybe I'll add the one with colors later because I know you guys like to see pretty colors okay and here's how you calculate the C statistic for a simple illustrative example so a very simple logistic regression model calculate so same things as ROCR, calculate the predicted probabilities, the prediction function, and then you can calculate the performance, which is basically it's one of the values of the performance function. So the, va the value, the C statistic, the, the AUC, which the C statistic, the AUC, is equal to the C statistic, which we calculated by hand. Which is also 0 0.8333. Which is AUC. So just this very small example just helps you to remember that the C statistic is equal to the AUC. And it shows you how to calculate the C statistic by hand. All right, so to conclude, the ROC curve allows us to visualize how well a binary classification algorithm performs and the how the accuracy changes as you vary the threshold values. The AUC is equal to the C statistic and it measures how well the accuracy, the, the accuracy of the binary classification algorithm across all possible threshold values. And the AUC is basically the area under the ROC curve whereas the C statistic is defined as the proportion of negative positive pairs, which are concordant. All right, so that's all for this video lecture. See you next time. Bye.